And, and this traffic is going to play a big role right now. Ooh, Rusty didn't get off a two at all that time. Here comes Gordon, right up against the back bumper. Everybody in the crowd on their feet. And Three laps said, to go. Slow the traffic, I think, caused that right there. Here comes Gordon, right up to the bumper again. Did you hear that wheel spin, Benny? Yeah, I did hear that <laughs> wheel spin. The bump and run. There it is. Gordon underneath to the lead. Two laps to go. Rusty, come back. <laughs> Jet better hope not. <laughs> 31 races since Jeff Gordon has been to Victory Lane. The much publicized dry spell could come to a close in one more lap around the Bristol half mile. He dominated the opening part of the race, got caught batting back in traffic after a late pit stop, but the bump and run is going to get Jeff Gordon to check
Hobbs. Yeah, Kevin Harvick's got some real help coming towards the front here. Michael Waltrip in the 55. Into the picture. Pushed by Casey Mears. Kenseth with Harvick behind him. Oh, oh there's Kirkham. Stewart into the middle of the pack and over. Watch it out. And a huge wreck to end this race. Matt Kenseth is going to get to the finish line first. Is everybody okay? And one of the championship drivers got through. Which ones did? I mean, that nine's bobbing around. You I see the 18 moving around. around. Yeah. Like he might be out of fuel. That's exactly what I was thinking, Andy. I was wondering if he was running out of fuel here. Coming to the white flag. I'll tell you, the two cars close that gap. If he's that or if he White thinks he might have a flat like a tire or something like here. that. He's really moving the car around. It doesn't look very stable right now. One lap to go. Kyle Busch, defensive line into turn one. There's something wrong with the 18. Now Ambrose trying to get second from Keslowski while he tries to get the lead from Kyle. Oh, Contact the in it. the S's. And Clyde got it. Dangerous spot on the track for Kyle to be sideways. Looks like he gets off to the guardrail. No caution yet. Here's the race for the lead. Because has got damage on the left front. Is the tire going to make it all the way around? And will the nine help him? Oh, Everybody's in the grass. grass. Oh, you're clear. Dig, dig, dig. That might have been the race right there. We'll oh. see. No, Keselowski's slower. Kozlowski's got a problem. Trying to stay with Ambrose. Two final corners. Do they use the bumpers? A nudge, a push. Can Ambrose save it? To the checkered flag. Who gets here first? Clear, clear. Ambrose, nine. Kozlowski, two. Final corner. Marcus Ambrose is going to win at Watkins Glen in a remarkable last lap turn of events. Jeff Gordon in the wall. That's off the final corner. Green white checker, attempt number one. Contact Gordon and Keslowski. Keslowski to the outside of Johnson for the race lead. Jeff Gordon may have a flat tire. Yeah, he does. He's Gordon oh, he's spinning, down. turn four. Caution we'll is out. We'll have another attempt at a great one checker. Do we settle it here or do we go to a third attempt that's in overtime? right there. Oh, he's going to turn him. Oh, didn't he save it? White flag, last lap. Harvick's by Kislowski. But unless there's a slip, he's not going to have enough time to catch Jimmy. A frantic finish, and for the third year in a row, Jimmy Johnson wins the chase race in Texas. Three laps to go. Over 100,000 on hand here in Charlotte today, all on their feet, trying to see how the drama of the final laps plays out. Those cars down at the bottom of the racetrack, the blue car and the brown and white car, racing for a position. They can't just get out of the way.
But DJ gives the 40 car the bottom of the racetrack, the groove that he needs to bring this thing around to the victory lane. Through the Jarrett car to the outside of Mike Skinner. Two laps to go. Nadu in the 44 is ahead as Labati tries to close in and steal the win away from the kid. They'll get the white flag when they come back. Wow. Will McMurray make one mistake in traffic that costs him the race? Can the 2000 champion Collinson take advantage? One and a half miles to go. White flag is up at Charlotte. Jamie McMurray trying to pull off the upset. Jerry Nadeau was a class act that time. He got out of the way. Let McMurray and Bobby Labonte decide this thing among themselves. One final set of corners to go. No lap traffic to come into play. Labonte's going to have to make a desperate move here. He rides into the corner deep. Come on, the way, Nadeau. Come on, come on. He'll do it. 26-year-old Jamie McMurray pulls off the victory in just his second NASCAR. Winston Cup start. Unbelievable. I am shocked. Almost beyond words, <laughs> but not quite. The upset special of the year. Any sport, bar none. The congratulatory rub from the champion, Bobby Labonte. And look at this crew. Final lap. Stewart and Edwards, first and second. Winner takes the championship. It's just the most incredible run I've ever seen out of a race car driver, what Tony Stewart has done in this chase and tonight. Yeah, I think it's the best driving I've ever seen, and, and Carl Edwards did an incredible job, too. But this is the man right here, Tony Stewart. 2002, he was the champion. 2005, he was the champion. Those driving for someone else. This time, he's an owner driver, and he's going to become a three-time NASCAR Sprint Cup champion. Tony Stewart wins it. Five laps to go. Whoa, Gordon really sideways right there. And Jimmy huh. fighting right up to his back bumper. You can see Jimmy just walked the car all the way up the track. And did we talk earlier about another fantastic finish here in Atlanta? Yes, sir. Got it wrong. Oh, yeah, he got him loose right there. Coming corner to the outside, right next to the outside. 24 only. drives it in to stay side by side. Jimmy's getting a little loose. Both of them wiggling up off the corner. Wow. Clear. You're clear. Let's just see off the bottom. <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, they're coming to three to go. I'm telling you, this is a, this is a dog fight. Yeah, Johnson's going to try to get a run on the high side. This oh, might get his pass that he he's looking for here. That's not, not what Gordon needs. No, Can't not make this it time. Three laps to go. Regan Smith gives way the lap car. Johnson dives again for the low side. Oh, both of them are just using all the track. What's the wiggle going to be that costs Gordon the win or Johnson the chance to make a run at him? Lost some time there. Yeah, Jimmy said, i got to try something. Yeah, that's where he made up a lot of this time. Two to go. Looks like they may not catch this traffic before the end of the race. But it's probably still affecting their cars. They're close enough. It, Johnson gets a big run off of two now. Coming to the white flag. So far, Gordon's been able to hold him off. Can he do it for another lap and a quarter? Johnson's gotten a big run off turn four several times on Gordon, but not been able to finish the pass. He slides this time. Gordon gets a big run. Three white flag. Last lap. Gordon gaining some ground. Can he hang on? Oh, Jimmy Johnson sideways as he went to the gas hard. Look at him. Sliding off the corner. Half a lap to go. There is lap traffic ahead. We've had fantastic finishes in Atlanta. Will this be another side-by-side -side run to the checkers? It's going to be a sideways run to the checkers. Johnson tries to get there. Can't get it done. NASCAR's all-time win list. Wow. Three laps 
left to go in this one in the scheduled distance. Hamlin has trouble. Newman to the inside of Harvick. If Harvick can stay in it, that might be the win and move. Hit your marks here. Look at Newman dive off in the corner. He showed us at Phoenix last week he was capable of doing brave things with a lot on the line. Two laps left to go. Might not be Everybody finished with Crosby's car, but I'm seeing back in the back part of this. Boy, Newman's giving it all he's got right now. Watch him dive down into turn three after this four car. Coming to the white flag. One lap left to go in the season. We're on the last lap. One more down, one more. If the caution comes out now, the race is over. Newman trying to stay with Harvick, trying to find a way around him. Two more corners to go to a championship for Kevin Harvick. He's going to do it. He's going to win the race and the NASCAR Sprint Cup Championship. California's Kevin Harvick does it. This is unbelievable. Well, we've seen the A car hasn't needed any help to get by other cars. Ricky Craven looking low. Dale Jr. moves down to block Tony Stewart. But when the A car does go around the 18, the 20 will go with the 18. Ricky Craven drives up behind the 55 car, trying to help Bobby Hamilton to the front. The white flag is up. Final lap at Talladega. Who's it going to be? Labonte, Earnhardt Jr., Stewart, or maybe somebody out of the pack. Look at this move by Jr. at the white flag. And Tony Stewart got right, with Jr. Coming with you. 20 is with you. Oh. Labonte blocks Bobby Hamilton. I cannot believe that Toyota. Oh, no. Contact. Bobby Labonte's over. It's the big wreck on the final lap. They're racing back for the win. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Tony Stewart are side by side. This is for the victory as Jeff Burton gets in the middle of it. At least 10 cars involved in the wreck of the backstretch. Burton and Stewart are side by side. That's all Earnhardt Jr. needs to see. won the million dollar bonus here at Talladega. Out of this corner, easy around this corner because there's a big crash on the back straightaway. Hold in there, bud. He's in the last lap. And as we look out the window across at the grandstands, all the fans that are here at the Speedway today are now on their feet watching to see if Jeff Gordon comes back around to take another checkered flag. Final quarters. He won the first one in 1994. 20 years later, he wins the 21st. Checker flag in the Brickyard 400 to Jeff Gordon. Yeah, buddy. Fans come to their feet as Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Tony Stewart take the white flag. We're in the final lap of the Daytona 500. Jr. took the lead from Tony Stewart with 19 laps to go after he trailed Stewart's orange Chevrolet for much of the central part of the race. Now he's got to hang on for three quarters of a lap to earn a victory in the sport's biggest event. 
Stewart not close enough to make a move yet. It's all going to come down to whether Earnhardt has a bobble or a problem in this final third of the lap. Yeah, you can't get emotional yet because you've got to get off turn four and back to the start-finish line. And you can see it now. The legacy continues. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins the 46th Daytona 500. Got it. Yeah, great run for Wimmer, too. Fantastic. Tony Stewart second. Scott Wimmer third. Kevin Harvick fourth. And Jimmy Johnson fifth. For Dale Earnhardt Jr., his first victory in the 500 in his fifth try. Green flag, green flag. If they don't get by Jeff Gordon before they come around the next time, oh, they will not pass it. And Michael Trouble. Walter. Michael Walter. Jeff Green is involved. Oh, ball. Jeff Gordon spinning down the inside. Gordon is in the grass. They're racing for the lead at the head of the pack. Double wide. Stay below the white line. You got some people out there. There you go. Sterling Marlin. He's got damage. He must have hit Gordon. And here comes Ward Burton on the outside. He's got to run. With Elliott Sadler giving him some help. Here's Jeffrey Bodine trying to help the 40 car. Caution flag is out. This could be the race to the finish of the Daytona 500. You'll see some rubbing here, I'm sure, getting back to the line. This is this may be it. Six cars sprinting toward the caution flag. Marlin inside seeking his third 500 oh, win. Ward Burton mirror. trying to get his first victory. Two dodges. Drag racing back. What happened was Sterling Marlin went down to go underneath Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon went to put the block on, and he went across the nose of Sterling Marlin's car, and that's what spun him out. The race is not over. They're going to red flag the event. They're going to stop the field, restart the race, and try and... Everyone on their feet at Daytona, some 170,000. As South Boston, Virginia's Ward Burton comes to the line, red flag.
Now, two team cars race in the one and two positions. That's who Dale needs to see in his rearview mirror right now. That's the best thing he can see. Will Michael Waltrip block for Dale Jr.? Will he try to win the race himself? White flag is out. Final lap at Daytona. 180,000 on their feet, screaming wildly. Two and a half miles to go. Just exactly the opposite of the Daytona 500. It was 15 and 8. Elliott Sadler is trying to keep Bobby Labonte behind. He can't do it. But he does move down in front of Rusty Wallace on that fast line. A clear, a clear. Bobby Labonte looking for some help, trying to get up there. His teammate, Tony Stewart, has never answered the black flag. And they're four wide back between the Wallace boys. Here they come, turn four, final lap of the Pepsi 400. Michael Walter in second, but it's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. using lessons learned from his father to go from sixth to first and score the victory in the Pepsi 400. That's, uh, that's unbelievable. Yes! That man behind you did it for yes. you. You guys celebrate. You love you, man. You did it. That was beautiful. Very, very nice. Junior, you're happy. All right. You Look at that on. smile. Wow. I don't think there's anybody here that didn't want to see that. Sentimental favorite. Emotional favorite.